Have you ever wondered why the jackal-headed god Anubis was so crucial in ancient Egyptian mythology? Find out how he balanced life and death. Anubis, the dog-headed god of the dead with blood-red claws, guides souls on their final journey. He watches the scales closely, where some succeed and others falter. Those whose hearts are light proceed to paradise, while the heavy-hearted are fed to Amit. My heart is light as a feather, pure and just, and I plead with you, Anubis, to handle it gently and place it among the heavenly dead. Anubis is one of the most iconic deities in the Egyptian pantheon, often associated with the afterlife and mummification. The ancient Egyptians called him Inpu or Anpu, a name related to decay. The Greeks later named him Anubis. Recognizable by his jackal head, he is sometimes depicted as a full jackal, often alongside the goddess Isis. In modern portrayals, his form is more sinister and mysterious, fitting for a guardian of the underworld. The link between Anubis and jackals likely arose because jackals commonly prowled around tombs. This may have led to the intricate designs of tombs meant to protect the dead. Genetic studies suggest that the Egyptian jackal linked to Anubis is actually an ancient wolf. Anubis's black fur, unlike the brown fur of jackals, symbolizes death and fertility, reflecting the Nile's fertile soil. Anubis's earliest mentions appear in the pyramid texts and Old Kingdom tombs, where he was the protector of the dead. Initially considered the god of the underworld, he later became associated with embalming. He performed the first mummification on Osiris, setting the standard for future mummifications. When Set attacked Osiris again in leopard form, Anubis defeated him, branding him with a hot iron rod. Priests wore leopard skins to commemorate this victory. After Osiris became ruler of the underworld, Anubis continued to guide souls. He led them to the Hall of Two Truths for their heart to be weighed against a feather representing Mayat, the goddess of balance. Anubis oversaw this ceremony, with Osiris and the judges of the underworld present. If a heart was heavier than the feather, the soul faced Amit's devouring and a second death. Anubis's parentage is ambiguous. Some myths say he is the son of Ra and Hathor, Others link him to Osiris or Set. His wife Anput shares his associations with funerary rites, and their child Kebichet, the goddess of purification, provided water to souls during mummification. Priests often wore Anubis masks during rituals, highlighting his extensive knowledge of anatomy and herbal remedies. Anubis's widespread worship centered in Sinopolis, city of the dog. The Greeks equated Anubis with Hermes, creating Hermanubis, a god guiding souls to the afterlife. Despite his significant role, Anubis appears in few stories, likely due to the constant nature of his duties. In the modern TV show American Gods, Anubis is depicted as a devoted and impartial guardian of the dead, allowing Osiris to rule the underworld without compromising his own role. Thank you for watching today's video on Anubis. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating stories and if you're fascinated by stories of gods and pharaohs, make sure to subscribe and check out our playlist, including Hercules Part 1.